hello aspirants uh, welcome to my blog ias with mahesh today we will be discuss uh, uh, climate change uh, related to health and uh, paris agreement also we will be discuss and uh, cop 28 also we will be discuss and uh, uh, carbon emission also we will be discuss so this is also carbon emission related both article uh, same so today uh, this is the hindu article uh, editorial page articles uh, both so we can discuss uh, uh, both uh, almost the same is there we will be discuss uh, in this article very details so as india gets ready for the uh, 28th conference of the party to united nations framework convention on climate change so this is the cop 28 so uh, uh, i think uh, they will conduct in the dubai uh, uh, i if i'm not wrong i will check it so it is a uh, import important to, to examine how climate change affects uh, the country health india in the inadequate health system may cover population uh, particularly uh, vulnerable to the impact of the climate risk on the health climate change affect health directly and causing more sicknesses and death in more indirectly ways in effect uh, nutrition reduces uh, working hours and uh, increase climate uh, induced stress the participation factors continue to be under and a relenting on uh, estimates suggests that if uh, a global temperature were to rise by uh, 2 degrees celsius as uh, many part of india would become un uninhabitable and in material nations uh, during the paris agreement uh, agreed to cap the rise to temperature at 1.5 degrees celsius clearly we have failed the year 2023 saw the highest temperature and heat wave in the recorded history the situation is likely to worsen for the planet climate emergencies extreme heat cyclone or floods are expected to occur with increasing regularity these will interference with food security and livelihood and sharpen health challenges so double burden so double burden so uh, the double burden of uh, mobility that india faces from communicable and non-communicable diseases will be worsened by climate change it uh, uh, could facilitate the growth of what vac such as uh, mosquitoes uh, sandflies uh, chicks and uh, as each unknown ones uh, and uh, change the uh, seasonality of infection through changes in their life cycle it could also facilitate the introductions of vectors and pathogens into areas so where they did not exist before such as the mosquitoes in himalayan states heat also alters the watch the volumes of the pathogens reduced availability of food and water and the decrease in the nutritional value of food increase vulnerability to diseases epidemics commonly occurs after floods but extended warm periods also promote to the proliferation of water and food borne pathogens and diseases are less well recognized as the impact of the climate change on non-communicable disease and uh, mental health both of uh, which are poorly managed in india heat uh, physical exercise and uh, dehydration a constant uh, state for the laborers could highlight uh, in uh, uh, kidney injuries uh, which are uh, arising in india due to uncontrolled uh, diabetes uh, so this is all the uh, health related uh, issues happen uh, so yeah uh, because uh, we polluted so much right so this is all the issues uh, they given uh, ill effects of air pollution urban planning that uh, discourages a uh, physical activity and uh, work related to uh, cultural state mitigation effort to begin with uh, understanding the direct and indirect pathway by the which climate change impact health and uh, assessing the urban currently the health information <coughs> A system or not modified to gather this data since the impact of the accessible 
enabled by the socio economic condition having system in uh, place for social uh, support and health service will reduce uh, the impact but the benefits from the upstream investment our focus on the better urban planning green cover water conservation and public health interventions will be much larger and not only for the health but also many determine determinants of health actions at all levels so what will do actions uh, to control climate change needs to happen at a global regional and local levels pathway of uh, climate change and their impact uh, will determine the appropriate the area area of intervention to achieve this india has to recognize climate change and its impact on health as a problem and uh, that can be and a need to be addressed researchers who work in this area need to come up with policy options for action and national states and local governments have to decide to act on the policy options that have been generated by the research so only when there are three streams of uh, problem stations of policy options and your political decision making uh, come together is a meaningful changes uh, likely to happen it will be worthwhile to examine if these necessary conditions have been satisfied before expanding that's a change in the status quo on climate change and its impact on health so this is the completely climate change the related logical how health impact what what to do what not to do uh, we are so much uh, uh, catching the trees and uh, forest also almost decreasing day by day so this is all about the climate related issue uh, they given in this article we have to read it uh, today hindu article you can go through and you can make it uh, some bullet point because cop 28 uh, related aspect they mention and paris agreement also they mention and some climate related issue also mention some bullet points so this is the main literal pages so now we will be discuss uh, another article also alarming countdown all nations uh, must strive for net zero carbon emission so this is a uh, uh, target was there but uh, nobody i think it was uh, not reached uh, challenge so the title of the united nation latest uh, report uh, broken record is a clever pun not only does it suggest the previous uh, warning of the consequences of uh, rising greenhouse gas emissions are being ignored but also wait Uh, but also that a new uh, ceiling are being breached uh, the annual emission report so usually a uh, time to close to be a uh, gaining of the climate stock uh, it means uh, in sharper language uh, that a uh, progress uh, since the uh, paris agreement of 2015 so paris agreement to 2015 came out has been tried the started goal was to keep a temperature from rising over 2 degree celsius and as far as possible below 1.5 degree celsius of pre industrial level in the last few years so much of the uh, consensus has been that we should be directing all our efforts towards uh, keeping it below 1.5 degrees uh, centigrade uh, the broken record report how i was suggested that uh, accounting for all community commitment made by countries as per the paris agreement to minimize their economies and uh, reliance of fossil fuel chem- uh, temperatures would still results in an overshoot of 2.5 degrees celsius to 2.9 degrees celsius by end of the century to keep temperature below 2 degree uh, celsius uh, emission by uh, 2030 so up to 2030 we have to keep it uh, below 2 degrees celsius uh, so must be cut uh, 28 percent and for 1.5 degree they need to be uh, shaved by 42 percentage it is why right. many countries having uh, promise to be net zero meaning uh, no net carbon emissions the report does not think these promise are uh, credible and even 
uh, in the most optimistic scenarios the likelihood of keeping emission below 1.5 degrees are 4 percentage however it is not as if the paris agreement has been in in fact, the greenhouse gases emission in 2030 based on policies in place were projected to increase by 16% at the time of adoption to increase by 16% adoption of Paris Agreement. Today, the project increase is a 3% to keep temperatures below 1.5 degrees Celsius. Annual emissions must reduce every year until 2030 by 8.7 percentage what the report says is that the world collectively emitted 57.4 billion tons in 2022 an increase of 1.2 percentage of over 2021 at the pandemic saw 4.7 percent of drop in emissions but the projection for 2023 suggests that the globe is nearly back to pre-pandemic emission level the consequences of the global uh, uh, tardiness uh, are rich large as for october this year 86 day were recorded with the temperature over 1.5 degree centigrade above pre-industrial levels september was the hottest record month ever with the global average temperature 1.8 degree centigrade above pre-industrial level in uh, terms of uh, solutions the report uh, uh, repeated sage advice that has been offered for year the richest countries and those historically responsible uh, for uh, gobbling spread atmospheric uh, capacity uh, for carbon must commit to greater and uh, faster reduction while legalize Legal. Mm legalize and uh, and knit uh, picking have been uh, characteristics of a uh, climate summit uh, precious or little time or remain for the world to get its act together so this is called uh, Henshire article uh, for uh, carbon emission under net zero net zero target also is there uh, under carbon emission uh, we will be decreased uh, up to 2030 uh, according to paris agreement uh, 2030 we have to or put it uh, two degrees celsius uh, maximum as much as possible already we agreed that 12 countries uh, so this is uh, uh, related to the cop 28 and um, uh, paris agreement uh, and uh, net zero emission so this is what uh, today article tomorrow we will be discuss another article uh, till then bye bye see you so please subscribe and share uh, and like it this video as much as possible you can share it uh, uh, you are preparing for the uh, competitive exam irrespective of the exam it is useful for these articles okay till then bye bye